This is London. This is London without the underground. And this is London without the underground and sewers. Takes you back to the 1600s, doesn't it? That should give you an idea of the role underground infrastructure plays in our lives. It is as much a part of a city as anything above the ground. But what happens to structures beneath the ground during earthquakes? To understand that, we need to first examine how structures above the ground react to them. Earthquakes are caused by a shift in tectonic plates deep beneath the surface of the earth. The movement of the plates creates seismic waves that hit the surface, causing it to shake. As the surface shakes, the lower levels and the foundations of a building shake with it. They then cause the upper levels to oscillate with them. In overground structures, the seismic waves come in contact with soil before they hit the building. Soil amplifies them, causing structures to vibrate more vigorously than they would have if, hypothetically, there was no soil. When it comes to underground structures, a common misconception is that since they are closer to the actual earthquake, they are impacted more by seismic waves than buildings over the ground. This could not be further from the truth. Deep buried structures do not oscillate independently of the surrounding ground, so there is no amplification. With no amplification, they vibrate less than anything above the surface does and end up being safer during earthquakes than most buildings are.